Hi guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to keep uh, working on the T252 cartridge printers. Uh, today we're going to do a wide format, WF7710. Before you do the project, you need to turn the printer to chipless. Uh, there are many, uh, many websites that you can do it. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put the one that worked for me on the description. Again, I'm not associated with any of those uh, uh, solution providers. If you have any problem, and you go work with them, work it out. So you have to finish that before, before you know you you can do, you'll be able to do the conversion. My project is sponsored by the Exeter Wallet, the world's first smart wallet. I put a link in the description with a 15% off coupon if you're interested. Uh, first, we need to unlock, unlock the carriage. So I turn it on, and as soon as that moves, I'm going to cut the power off. Okay, now the power is off. You can see it can move around now. Next, I'm going to move, make a hole only about here. I also need to make a hole here, but uh, this cover got to go first. So leave it up and uh, you can just use your finger, just just drag from this side and so remove the cover. You can just snap it off, it doesn't matter, uh, nothing here is important. I need to make a hole about here. The hole needs to be large enough to be able to get the tube going through. Yeah, I'm going to make the second hole in the middle of those two, so it's about here. So we put a bracket on it. So although you have a, a color plug here, you want to take them off. Those are shipping plugs and that you're not supposed to use them when the printer is in function. So we're going to uh, put a, a KCMY. So, we, uh, so we're going to mark uh, which one is the black tube. So this one is black. Uh, when this tube goes in, the black is towards the front of the printer. The bracket just holding in position is not uh, strong enough to hold the whole tank. So we're going to use uh, duct tape to tape the tank to the printer. Uh, we need to hide the cable in here. We want to put a, uh, we want to put the black on top. We can bend those forward a little bit so we can it's easier to work on. Now we can push them back. Now the question is this guy here. Okay, I'm going to get a piece of duct tape. The size is about the width of the tube. And then I got another piece of tape, about four inches or 10 centimeters. Now I'm just, I'm going to put this on like a bandit. So the non-sticky part I'm going to cover the tube. So make sure the tube can still slide underneath. Now let's try. If you make it this too thick, the carriage cannot pass here. So this is good. Now I'll take this tube out and cut it to six centimeters, and the seven centimeters, and eight and nine. Now start from the left. Do it with six. So each one is taller than the, than the previous one. I will put a double bracket in.
and we'll put a tube over. Make sure I get a longer tube, longer enough to hit the right side, and also not too long, it will cut in here. So make sure they work. Okay. And now we need to fill the ink. Our life is easier with those 100 mil uh, syringes. We do carry them on our website, but if you want to get, get elsewhere, just make sure if you use a 100 mil syringe and uh, make sure it got a, it got a spiral Got a spiral here, so you can screw screw the the needle on it. And uh, let me show you. This is a 50 mil, so it get a it get a straight, it get a straight um, base. So what happens is, uh, if you push it really hard, and uh, the needle gonna fly out. Okay, for 50 is okay, but for 100 mil, certainly you want a this spiral base. Oh, by the way, the syringes, of course, is not included in the in the kit. The, you buy, you have to buy it separately, or you can just pour it in and uh, make sure it's, you get pouring in really slowly. Now take out your little square and uh, take out those uh, long elbows. There's arrow. That's the direction of the ink flows. So the ink will come in from the smaller tube and flow this way to the bigger tube. We're going to cut the elbow into half. And this part we're going to use on the smaller tube. And this part, and this part we're going to use for the large, the large tube. For the small tube, remember we put the black on the top. So this is black. I'll secure it here. So the black, you if you bend it down, so you only need about this long. I put this part on the smaller tube. And I double check direction from the smaller tube to the big tube. So I connect this to the smaller tube. So the ink gonna flow out from the bigger tube. And now I'm gonna use this little tool to suck it. When you suck it, it should come in very easily, so you know you get the direction right. If you have a hard time sucking it, you probably get the direction wrong. I connect to the black tube. And now the black tube point down and the small tube point up. This thing has an angle, so it's a specially designed, so it will maximize the ink flow. Make sure you don't have a kink here. So this tube is twisted. Twist a little bit more. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of three colors. Now you can close the print, printer lid, however, because uh, I want to demonstrate uh, what uh, the printer look like. So I'm going to put a piece of paper right here, so the printer will think that the lid is closed. Now we're going to uh, turn the printer on and uh, do 9 to 12 uh, head cleanings until we see those tubes are filled with uh, ink and uh, also we can get uh, we can get a perfect nozzle check. Before you can, before you see it, all of the all of the tubes get filled with ink. Do not do the do not print. Just keep uh, cleaning. Uh, do it uh, nine to twelve times. You can see all those tubes got filled except the black, and uh, because the black they have it has a kink right here. So what you want to do is you want to twist this and adjust a little bit. Okay. So no kink, now we go run the cleaning again. 
Now you can see all the tubes are filled up with ink, so now we can print a check pattern. Perfect. Okay, and outside, uh, there are lots of church people coming by, so those church people are gonna love it. I add a uh, pigment ink this time because I'm a little bit tired of uh, doing the sublimation. Uh, the pigment ink, uh, what it's good at it is you can make those uh, uh, those are dark fabric transfers. Uh, use a high temperature tolerant pigment ink such as a BCH pigment ink, and uh, you print on a uh, 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 transfer paper called a dark fabric transfer paper and uh, peel the top layer off. Uh, you can use quick cutter to cut it to, it to the shape and then press it 365 for 15 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at uh, www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!